Alright, so for those of you just tuning in, I'm going to be playing some 4v4 Green Arabia with the viewers. Uh, this is actually an offline match because Twitch TV has been rather uh, yes. unstable and a little laggy recently, so it's not really letting me stream for some reason. It keeps disconnecting me, so we're just going to do some good old-fashioned Green Arabia uh, offline here. I'm going to be doing some really stupid strategy uh, that is rather unconventional. Uh, that was a bit of a little bit of delay, but I'm so used to that. Anyway, uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the new unique technology that the, uh, that the Turks get uh, to pull off some sort of non-traditional cavalry archer rush. Uh, it's really only standard to see the, uh, uh, the Huns go for sort of a cavalry archer rush strategy because the cavalry archers are really, really, really expensive. Uh, so uh, it's not often that you'll see civilizations sort of using them, so I want to give it a shot, because in the Forgotten they are a little cheaper, uh, which is nice. Uh, okay, Scout is Scout is really huffing paint today. That's that's always a good sign. Uh, I'm going to roll with this. I think I'm going to be doing a cavalry to rush. I'll be showing you guys, I guess, how I do that. Because uh, I do think it has uh, has potential, albeit they're really expensive, so you don't want to lose, uh, lose any cavalry archers if you can. Uh, which can be tricky, but uh, if you, assuming that you're good with your unit micro, I think that it has potential at least. Uh, you know, since they're so cheap, and as the Turks, you know, it might not be so gimmicky necessarily, because uh, the Turks get 20 extra HP on their cavalry archers, provided I build a castle. So that's the plan here. Uh, I have to do a little force drop off action. I do the you know the standard sort of six on sheep opening here, uh, and then we're gonna go into. Uh, or on the lumber camp. So a little bit of that. Good old fashioned sheep scouting. Now of course it is, is definitely uh, not standard to get... Oh whoa, I told him to drop that off. Not really standard to get loom before you hunt your boar, but I like to do that uh, because, you know, this tends to be a little bit of the ping online and uh, I don't want to lose any villagers to lag. That would be uh, tragic, 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 tragic. Of course, it's never really worth it if you happen to lose a villager to lag. Uh, so it's more than uh, more than worth the extra few seconds uh, getting that loom before I hunt my boar. So we're gonna be doing that today. Um, that should be good. This cavalry archer rush should be fun. I do definitely dig it. And of course, if you're not really aware, you know, I'm not uh, I'm not necessarily the best mechanical player uh, that there is, uh, but I do pride myself in my sort of encyclopedia esque knowledge of the game. I know a lot about the game. Uh, you know, I watch I watch the competitive scene regularly. I've been playing this game for years. And I've studied this game to uh, to an extreme extent. But uh, so while I might not be the best player, I can definitely tell you uh, in great detail what a player who is better than me would be doing. So hopefully, if you don't find this video entertaining, at least you find it educational too. So that's my goal here. I'm definitely really only good at the map Black Forest, but I can definitely play other maps too. Just not uh, just not in a much higher level. So I'm going to be doing some scouting. I'm going to shoot this board twice, lure him underneath my town center. Good stuff. Should be good. Alright, my village is walking the long way for some reason. You know, whatever whatever works for you. Uh, I, we don't discriminate here, okay? So in here, all types of villagers are, are welcome, including the ones that uh, are very, very, well, weird. I don't know why she chose to walk that way. I'm gonna put down my uh, my little mill over there now. What I like to do as a general uh, rule for you know, newer players and whatnot is a good way to think about it is every time you get the boar, uh, you should consider building uh, a dark age building because you know you need to build two of those to advance and they're pretty darn useful. So uh, every, I got my first boar right, so I'm gonna build my uh, mill next to my forage bushes like ASAP, which is what I'm doing right now. And the next boar is gonna be for my lumber camp. I mean not my lumber camp, my mining camp. Sorry. That's my other boar, right? What's the progress on this meat? It is time. Let's go get him. Wow, I'm probably going to be late on that boar lure just because this boar is actually rather far away. Definitely, definitely. So we'll roll to that. Do a little bit of that scout. And I like to hotkey my scout to control group one, makes scouting a lot easier. Of course, I could scout with waypoints, but I like to uh, have a little more control over my scout. Shoot that twice. Yeah, it's definitely going to be just a, just the tip late, uh, which is which is okay. All right, I'm going to work on the uh, good old gold mine. Yeah, 
definitely going to be just a, just a tad late. I don't want, ideally I want to time it so that my my original boar hunter gatherer people uh, just just barely finish the boar just as soon as uh, uh, as soon as the new boar gets there. So we're gonna have these people build this mining camp right here. Good old mining camp, very reliable. Does uh, does good work. Yeah, put these put these bills back uh, back to work. That's for sure. And now, uh, now I'm gonna mix things up a bit. I'm gonna throw in, uh, I'm gonna throw in a, a mill here for some deer too. So I'm gonna be going for a, a fast castellage and transitioning to cavalry archers this time. Something uh, a little uh, less standard. Uh, you know, I could, I could, you know, rush janissaries or I could go knights. But here uh, today we're gonna go break the meta a little bit uh, and try something fun. It's definitely, I definitely really like it on the Saracens uh, in the Forgotten, that's for sure. Is this guy a bad guy? He is a bad guy. He might lose his scout here uh, to this. That's the hope. Notice how I hunt my deer with four villagers. That is the uh, the ideal number to all, always hunt deer with. The uh, reason being is because four villagers is the uh, minimum number that is required to um, make it so that uh, your villagers don't have to walk, uh, take two trips, basically. That way they don't have to uh, drop off food uh, and then come back to the deer when they're still meeting it. So I'm going to be uh, advancing at the standard sort of 27-28 population. You definitely want to base your advancement times off uh, off of the population that you have, rather than your uh, uh, rather than the in-game clock, which of course you should be uh, definitely keeping in mind. Uh, good times for fast castle age would be really anywhere from like uh, on the super extremely fast uh, fast end. Oh snap. Uh, on the super, super fast and I, man, it's hard to play while talking, I'll tell you that. So much to manage. I'm actually going to get the stereotypical residence housed right here. Uh, very briefly, but, you know, it's, it still matters. Uh, slows you down just the tip, just the tip. I'd advance right now, but that'd make me, uh, that'd make me a wuss. And I prefer a stronger eco. I do not like the... Okay, the steer is positioned better now. That's a little better. So anyway, um... Definitely do like my deer, of course. I think that is a good way to get the uh, the fast castle age. Anyway, some good times for fast castle age uh, would be you know anywhere from the faster side of things, which would be like uh, pretty difficult to obtain most of the time. You can be like 15 minutes, so we're gonna shoot for like a 16 to 17 minute range. 18 is o a okay if uh, if you can't do any better. 18 is fine. Put down some farms and whatnot. You know, when my when my hunters are done doing their hunting things, I just split them between wood and food. I don't need too much wood right now, uh, that's for certain. Just put all these people over here. Not bad. Should be able to advance right about now. This is actually going to be a fairly late feudal age. Uh, I don't know if it's the delay or just my uh, my getting housed there for a minute there, but that's definitely going to be a late feudal age. Which I guess is okay. I mean, on the flip side, it does definitely mean that my eco will be stronger when I do advance. So, I guess there's a silver lining to every story. I'm going to put my barracks down right now. Because uh, then I'm going to be putting down an archer range and a blacksmith as soon as I advance. It looks like the... Okay, there is one deer left. That's what I thought. Uh, put the rest of these guys on the good little forage bushes. I guess I don't need uh, those guys over there anymore. Cool beans. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a rather slow uh, feudal age. Ideally, I want to hit the feudal age around like uh, 13 minutes. Uh, a little sooner, maybe like 12.30. Uh, but there's definitely been a, there's definitely a little behind, that's for sure. I will live. There we go, yeah. Gospada has advanced to the feudal age. Good ol', good ol' wag. I'm gonna pull, pull all my gold miners off, I really don't need any more. Uh, I just needed a 200, uh, 200 to advance. Whoa, Ice Key is like right next to me, man. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, this is going to be a slow feudal age. Yeah, I ideally want to get to the feudal age before 13 minutes if I can. Uh, but still with this population, so... I mean, I'll be able to advance the castle age almost instantly as soon as I advance, but, you know, it's still a little slow. It's not... it's not to my liking. Actually, I can keep these villagers over here. Uh, and we can build a... the blacksmith. Put that down. Wood stuff. This is definitely kind of greedy of me, because I don't really have much in the realm of any defense. Uh, so, we'll see how that goes. 
do not like how my stone, my main stone's at the front of my base. That kind of foils any plans of an early, uh, early stone mine, doesn't it? But I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't know what Ice Key is up to, honestly, um, but... I'm just gonna cancel this build. I don't want my castle age to be any slower, per se. Alright, not bad. Put these people on the gold. Got so many people on the bushes right now, they just definitely do not need to be there uh, anymore, so... Should get that double bit axe. Double bit axe, super important. Don't want to skip that. And, and this is for my castle over here. Uh, although I honestly uh, doubt that I'm going to get away with this. Now that I think about it. I'll give it a shot. I do definitely want that free cartography from market though soon, uh, if I can help it. Definitely a bit of lag. Nothing too serious, but... I do like the, the Turkish gold mining bonus, it's definitely very nice. I don't need all these foragers. Really, I'm gonna need very little food, I just need a, a bit of food to sustain a villager production from like, what, 1 TC and I'll be fine. Notice how I'm doing my best, at least, to try and make sure that my town center is never idle. This is very, very important. Right, I didn't get the fletching. I'm definitely going to want my eco to uh, to suit my needs right now, and my needs are going to be heavily in the wood and gold business. For those good old cavalry archers, more so on the wood department, because I'm going to definitely want... Let's get incoming. Okay. I'm definitely going to want uh, some good old uh, second archer range, which I think I can just place right about now. Right, I'm slowly getting my way towards the castle, so... You know, this is a this is a kind of definitely gimmicky strategy too, because it involves me. It, it means that I have to invest a lot in stone early on uh, in order to get that castle out. All right, there we go. Not bad. Wow, I advanced at the same time as like everybody. Seventeen thirty. Not bad. Not. Uh, it, it's a pretty good castle time, but it's definitely not exceptional. Uh, definitely not wowing anybody, but it gets the job done. It's like uh, it's like I swear to God, I I placed uh, uh some cavalry archers. Weird. Okay, cool. You can uh, you can build that farm. Yes. All right. Got some of the the cavalry archers. Oh, is he still in the feudal age? I wonder why. And I wonder if I can. Uh, a little bit of a harassment. Yeah, horse collar. I think it's pretty important. It, is, it definitely saves a lot of wood, that's for sure, but double bit axe is, is much more important. So yeah, this is how I do my cavalry entourage. This villager is not uh, is not gonna be very happy. Thud. Oh. Nope. Oh, the jukes! MLG jukes, man. Oh, there we go, I got him. Max has advanced the castle age. So yeah, notice how I've got my economy to meet my needs. Good stuff. I'm gonna start running out of uh, Monet now, though. Hopefully, I can pull off these stone miners and get that castle out. Yo, I should forward castle as well. Oh no, he's stonewalled actually. So screw that. We're not doing that. I didn't realize he had a hole there. And second thought, I could have put that castle probably forward anyway, but whatevs. Life goes on, right? Doing some solid damage to him. Like, some very solid damage to him, in fact. I should have this scout go do scouting things. That's for sure. This key was doing really well. Seems like he has ran out of steam. Oh, is this a farmer I can snipe over the wall? You like it when that happens. It looks like there's some carnage going on over here. That's always always nice. Uh, is this a vulnerable lumber camp? I could really use some of that bodkin arrow. I feel like a uh, bodkin arrow would be nice. I feel like I... Okay, I hope this castle goes up before I get housed. Because that was the plan, but... <clears throat> I 
does not, of course. Alright, cool beans. The house does go up. Put uh, some of you people back on the good old stone. Well, he did, he did get the wall off. I knew he would. I've done some hilarious economic damage to him. So now I'm just going to regroup a bit. And let's see, how much is that? That is pretty expensive, if I do say so myself. Uh, that is understandable, though, considering that it's like bloodlines again. Uh, I'm going to put down a stable. This will let me get bloodlines. And we'll see. I can do a bit of, a, a bit of this raiding action, see what's going on. Orange is already getting attacked. I feel I feel bad kind of ganging up on him. It looks like he's like walled up. So I'll go somewhere else. I'm gonna make sure that I, I get a I get enough guys. I want to get some upgrades going. I almost have enough for this uh, Sapahi. This is definitely not how you pronounce it, but I'm it. all right, bueno. We are finally uh, getting that show on the road. Got no food anymore. Cool. Then I'll be able to get bloodlines, and I'll have these ultra tanky cavalry archers, which are going to be so, so very annoying. My scout has decided it's time to stop scouting, uh, which is not what I want. Uh, I should have put my castle a little closer to me, actually, in, in retrospect. Got some skirms over there. That's cool. Oh, this scout's going, uh, going places. Oh, well, when my cavalry archers react, there we go. Good stuff, guys. All right, now we've got our invincible Panzer tank cavalry archers now, uh, which is exactly what the doctor ordered. And after this, you can build me a siege workshop. And then, yeah, I could use I could use Bodkin, that's for sure. Gotta keep my villager production rolling. Let's go see what the other enemies are up to. Crossbow, I'm coming, man. Definitely seems like uh, Orange is struggling a wee bit. I would like to know what he is, uh, what he's doing. Uh, that way I can uh, perhaps let him know how to improve his gameplay, perhaps. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, it doesn't look, it doesn't, definitely doesn't look like teams were uh, particularly fair, which is unfortunate. That does happen. Uh, husbandry is so expensive, but I think Bod Canero again is it's just higher on the priority list. Pretty soon I'm going to want to put down a second DC, that's for sure. Aha! I have found a villager. A naked one, in fact. He's going to die. He is all alone. He's vulnerable. I cannot hit this wolf because I don't have ballistics yet. There's my market. And what a perfect place for a TC, right between uh, some wood and a good old, good old mineral patch. Looks like it's a slaughter in here. This is good stuff. Man, if I had ballistics, look at all these misses right now. Wow. The jukes. Oh, he noticed. Oh, but the economic damage is coming in. It's huge. The struggle. <clears throat> Always go straight for their external villagers, right? Like, I don't want to take any TC fires. So notice how I'm just focusing to... Look at all these kills. Oh, my God. Double kill, triple kill, m -m -m monster kill, kill, kill. You want to know what a weak eco looks like? Well, now you've seen one. Jeez, so many casualties. That is intense. I almost, I almost feel bad. Jeez. Okay, well, that's that's some devastation if I've ever seen it. I don't want to put these guys... I don't know why they, they prioritize the mines, but I definitely want to put those guys on some of that wood stuff. That good wood stuff. And these new villas can start working on farms. I want to I wanna get that eco rolling. I've basically done most of what I can do uh, rushing-wise. I might, I might be able to swing by Harkin Manx and see what's up. It's definitely definitely did some huge economic damage to Ambact there. I made a camel? Okay, I definitely did not mean to. 
cool beans. I have a camel now. I definitely don't want them to see my cavalry archers grouping up. Why am I under attack? Oh my goodness! Wait, whoops! No, I meant to set the, the un... Okay, I guess that worked anyway. Whoa, I gotta, I gotta send my cab archers back, actually. If, uh, that's, uh, that's a bit of, a sizable bit of cavalry. I think it's about time I also increase my number of unit production facilities, that's for sure. Really get this show on the road. Actually, I should be mostly okay, uh, with the guys I have here. I don't think Ice Key's got too much, uh, too much in the realm of guys. I can tell based on his score that he's, uh, definitely not packing too much heat. All right, I see how it is. Wow, that's a that's a little bit of delay there, definitely. Told those guys to go spawn elsewhere. I gotta I gotta attack Harkin Manx before he uh, reaches critical mass. I'm gonna send villagers back to work. Okay, so definitely took some economic damage there. That was really good on Ice Key's part. Uh, but uh, thankfully, I've got the situation mostly on lockdown. What's going on? Uh, why am I under attack by Harkin Manx? Oh, I have uh, I have uh, I killed some of his dudes. Let me get in this hill so that these. Uh, oh my. That's such a big issue. Why can I just ungarrison? So you guys won't be on my control twos. Well, that's a lot of elite skirms. It's a shame that he happened to pick elite skirmishers. It's definitely a shame. Well, yeah, uh, Ice Key and Ambact have not really uh, recovered very much from the uh, economic damage I did to them earlier. Definitely, you've got to. Okay, those, that's my teammates' houses. Okay, good. I was like, wait, what? Uh, but anyway, yeah, you definitely gotta replace every lost villager, that is for certain. And it, it definitely helps to replace your lost villagers with a little bit of the extra town center action, of course. Okay, so I've got, I got like, these buff cavalry archers. They clearly lift. However, I'm running into this problem where that guy has a ton of elite skirmishers, and as we all know, we gotta adjust our army composition to meet our needs. In this case, I definitely need some sort of a... Uh, protection against cavalry archers. You only got one stone miner. This is blasphemy. So I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need a TC here to go protect my farms. As soon as that guy's ready, uh, I'm sure he'll be ready at some point this year. Wow. There we go. Build me that, please. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna tack on some, uh, some light cav. Oh my, well, this is not good. Scatter, scatter! Oh wow, yeah, he's actually focusing my guys one at a time. It's very, very, uh, well played from our Harkin Minx fellow. I can juke his shots just a little bit. I still took some heavy damage there. This is unfortunate. It's my handcart action. Gotta keep building my eco. I want to. I want to get a strong enough eco to the point where, like, constantly producing troops does not run me out of resources. I definitely want to commit to this whole cavalry archer thing because I think it's fun. But I, I need to tack on some uh, some cavalry if I wanted to be able to deal with those uh, Harkin Manx guys. Okay, some more farms. You guys will all be making farms. I gotta get my eco rolling. Definitely uh, boomed rather slowly due to my uh, heavy, heavy early aggression. Maybe I should start just pressuring uh, Ice Key. 
But I need a. I'm gonna need some like mangonels if I'm gonna do that. Oh, well, he's got he's got watchtowers, so he could just kill my mangonel with watchtowers. So I'll go with the uh, go with the battering ram today. Good old battering ram. Oh, that's unfortunate. They never do finish those houses in time. That is definitely one thing that uh, always gets me. It's one thing you can really rely on. All right, let's uh, let's get this show on the road here. Harkonmansk is definitely getting kind of scary. Oh, yeah, I should have gotten cartography years ago. I always forget it's free, man. The struggle. The getting housed. It continues. It's kind of weird that he's got a little bit of a, an outpost in my in my area. Whatever. Kind of cuts into my farmland, but meh. I mean, at the very least, he'll be able to uh, reinforce me a bit, I guess. about time attack on an additional stable. I don't have a bow saw yet, man. That's crazy talk. Shiage! Bring the battering ram in separately. Whoa, whoa! That is unfortunate. We'll need another battering ram then. So you guys can be my control ones. Staples will be on two, this will be on threes. I'm on a couple Janissaries. Uh, oh wow. Alright, see how you handle this one. Just gotta get through- whoa, wait, this is only palisaded? Sir, I... I'm not sure about that one. He's got the gate locked and he's trying to stab my ram. You can't have both, sir. Oh my, the lag is real. Oh, that was a smart location for a castle. However, I do believe I'll be able to uh, interrupt that. Just barely. Man, my ram's dead again. Oh no, that castle is going up, I think. Oh, or it's not, just barely. Uh, I guess I have to go help them with Harkin Mangs. Okay, uh... Wait, actually, this, this attack is going well. However, I'm definitely going to have to... Uh, help over here. I'm gonna go send like half my army. Oh, actually, they might have that on lockdown. Yeah, Orange's problem is he probably honestly just doesn't have enough bills. That's that's probably the thing. Okay, cool. Now all those bills are, are safe over there. Do 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 do. I need another ram. He's actually kind of fortified, honestly. He is. Um.
Hmm. Wow, Pistachio's got a lot of guys. Pistachio's doing well. well. It's about time to get that thumb ring and these uh, ballistics going on here. It's been far too long. And I, I think it's really about time we advance. I'm gonna go sell a bunch of wood, get the, uh, get the necessary gold to go up. So I'll get that wood back easy sneezy, but... beans. Let's see if I can uh, do any harassment on people, perhaps. Take a take a large group of these guys, see if anyone's eco is open. No, I definitely want to take only from the cavalry archers, though, if I can. Ooh, I like this little forward area over here. Gospada, you're evil. Ain't not bad. So you'll also be added to my control group ones. We add into my twos. Yeah, unfortunately, it definitely looks like teams this game were not very fair. Uh, perhaps I should have uh, split the split the players a little more evenly. Yeah, sorry teams weren't very fair. Next time we split it better. But, uh, I'm, gonna have a, I'm gonna have a very late imp myself. I'm just waiting until I can get my free chemistry. I can tack on a bit of those uh, good old uh, bird cans. Notice how my army comp is designed basically to cover the weaknesses of the other other units, remember? So that's what that's what your goal should always be. Get this little guy, here's a little scout. Um so you know my cavalry archers, wow, they're tanky. Uh are definitely pretty weak to the uh you know the skirmishers, so I've I've thrown in some of those uh pikes. Now I know you're thinking, you know, uh, resins, both of your units are, are significantly weak to the pikemen, and it's like, yeah, you're right. Sure, I can kite the pikemen, that's uh, that's definitely an option, but you never really... Uh, it's not a very good way of dealing with it. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to try and throw in something to cover that weakness, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to throw in uh, hand cannoneers now, and that way all of my weaknesses are covered, which is exactly what you want in a nice, well-balanced army composition. Let's see how fortified your eco is, sir. Ooh, some good old Raiden, good old-fashioned Raiden going on here. Well, that's another castle. Well, not anymore, but I don't want to take too many uh, too many castle shots. That's for sure. Da, da, da. Oh, cannot afford any of these. Parthian tactics are nice. Was this wall just built? I guess I walked the uh, the more complicated way. Path less, uh, path less chosen. Yo, I've got no gold today. Why don't I have gold? I need more gold, guys. I just can't explain why. I need more houses, too. I can never have enough houses. And here comes the housed. Okay, so I'm inside his eco. This is good. His farmers are about to be eaten for breakfast. That's why I like to place my castles in a way that they uh, are all nicely covered by each other. You know, like they, they cover my cover my eco quite nicely. A little bit of a lag spike here. Not a problem. And of course, if you're enjoying this video, yeah, man, don't forget to uh, leave a like and a comment below. I do read all the comments, and 
You know, uh, I've got lots of other great stuff on my YouTube channel, of course, which I'm sure you will definitely enjoy. Uh, he does not have Elite Skirmishers uh, 50 minutes in, which is definitely a problem. I'd love to be able to look at uh, what uh, what some of the uh, players are doing uh, in a post sense. But definitely, I think the problem here is just the standard overarching problem. Uh, the reason that some of my opponents are struggling is because, you know, they probably just don't have enough villagers, honestly. They don't have enough villagers to support their army. Like, he, like I'm sure he can't afford some upgrades because he's just, you know, he doesn't have enough villages. And, you know, uh, perhaps massing all these stone walls, he might as well just get fortified wall rather than providing another layer. Oh, I should have ran those guys out. But whatever. I did get him to pull back. Are those sloppy micro on my part? And this will be the this will be the end of Ice Key. That's that's definitely for certain. Uh, I am assuming I do not have siege engineers. I do not. I'd attack on lots of unit production facilities because I'm not really spending all of my resources. Uh, when I'm producing a large army, I don't want to be necessarily floating anything unless I have to. I don't want to be floating too much. Because that means I could just be producing more guys. Obviously, I want to float during the earlier stages of the game, but definitely not the later stages. And yeah, now my eco is pretty much raiding proof, which is nice. I'm going to group those guys back up, and uh, I think this is all she wrote for Ice Key E. Charge! Yeah, so instead of building a second layer, which is kind of a waste of stone, he should have probably just gotten the uh, fortified wall upgrade at the university. Uh, buff up his walls, uh, that would make a definitely a better difference. Oh, I really don't need it. Uh, but yeah, that's probably the wiser decision there, because again, you know, walls are supposed to prevent against early attacks and provide you a warning, but they're definitely not going to stop an attack. <coughs> Especially at this point in the game, I mean, two layers of stone walls is, is, is nothing, it's not going to do anything to me. Uh, it's a minor inconvenience at best, so... And again, you know what, my army is definitely covering the weaknesses of each other, which is exactly what I want. Prioritize the defense upgrades, of course, uh, when you're focusing on the melee units. Ironically, you will do more damage by uh, staying alive longer, so uh, the defense upgrades ironically increase your damage. It's about time to get Heavy Cavalry Archer, don't you say? Get a bit of this, get a bit of that. Exchange some of my resources. I think I put down enough houses, finally. Yes, resistance is futile, sir. Your economy is small and insignificant. See, the problem is he's only got one TC, right? And one TC is fine for the early game, but uh, you want to get to that goal of having enough villagers to uh, constantly be able to produce troops ASAP. You know, you want to do it as fast as possible, and you know, it can be greedy to put down a bunch of TCs early, but at this point in the game, it, it sure ain't. And he was walled up, so, you know, he definitely should have put down another TC, that's for certain. Uh, that would have been a good idea. And back here, and back here has another TC that's good, although he might just want another one. Honestly, like, the people's scores, if your score is low and you're finding uh, issues keeping up with all the, all the other players, that means that your, uh, your eco is probably very weak. Obviously, score can be more complicated than that, it can be a result of uh, many, many different things, but... Uh, it usually tends to boil down to the uh, the eco is weak with this one. I've got 9k wood, Jesus. So I think I think it's time for less lumberjacks and more other things. Yeah, I'm thinking more gold miners. That's for certain. Definitely going to want to uh, consider working on a trade line. This game really won't be uh, going on for much longer. I'm very certain that uh, I've got this in the bag. But anyway, yeah, and you know, notice how my markets are surrounded by castles too. Again, I'm just trying to prevent raiding like I got to do on Harkin Minx here. Uh, I, I do like that his castles do protect his eco, but notice how they, he's got two castles right next to each other, completely pointless. What he would really need is like a castle at the back over here or right here, just to, you know, prevent me from going going into his little backline area and just raiding his base. Uh, that's what you want to prevent. And I really don't like uh, aggressive castles for the most part, unless it's like in the castle age, because uh, yeah, just have to. They tend to. They tend to suck. I mean, you can obviously use them sometimes, but uh, they tend to do more harm than good because they're just usually trebuchet baits. They just get treb down, and it's like, wow, you just wasted all that stone. And stone's a very valuable resource. You don't want to throw it away like that. So that's always something to keep in mind. I like how my villagers will walk to the mill instead of the town center. That's much closer. Very very funny villagers. Very funny. Ha ha ha. 
the Elite Janissary. Sometime this year. All right, cool. I have I have completely emptied his base out. You know what that means? We go to Harkin Manx instead. I, I know that this this orange guy is, is definitely already taken care of. Uh, so we're gonna go all the way over to the Harkin Manx fellow. March all the way over there. Still have no gold, man. Did one of my gold miners uh, run out of gold? They did. Okay, that explains that. The more you know, guys. Knowing is half the battle. Look at all these gold deposits. This is absurd. This is Green Arabia, in case you uh, didn't already know. Get murder holes. Uh, I, I could wait on murder holes because I haven't been raided really uh, since I've got all these castles up, but. Okay, they just stopped moving. That's fine too, I guess. Okay, that's an interesting path to take, but hey, Matt, we don't judge. Remember, we don't judge here. So, even though my villagers really like to huff paint regularly, they, they probably do a lot of crack. You know, that's fine. That's fine, man. Lifestyle choices. We don't judge here. This is a very welcoming community. I'm trying to get uh, the artillery upgrade, but I ain't got the money for it. So I'm going to sell lots of wood. I always get guilds, of course, at the market, uh, so the trading resources uh, doesn't doesn't cost you so much. Um, always make sure you get that first when you're doing that mass selling thing. Again, I'm going to let Gray handle Orange. Orange is eco. He's super duper weak. The reason that the AI, the standard AI sucks... Wow, okay, I don't know why those guys went over there. Uh, the standard AI sucks is because they uh, have such weak ecos. They don't make enough villagers. Uh, and, and it takes them, well they do eventually, but it, it just takes them way too long to get to that point, so... It looks like Ambact is finally screwed. I do like this, these castles are a little more spread out, and they're they're not at the edge of these walls, so they're a lot harder to treb. I'm sure they are in treb range. I do like his troop choices too, but again, you gotta prioritize the defense upgrades and not the, uh... It looks like I found some of his guys. I'll let him live! I'll let him live! You know what, I'll, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let him live. Just for kicks. Just for fun, guys. We're gonna let them live. And I think it's about time I built some sort of forward uh, unit production facilities for this little sieging, uh, sieging event, because I don't want my guys to have to walk for days. Alright, we've made it, men! You know, some of you have <laughs> not made it yet, but we're almost there, right? Push. It's kind of a long match, actually. I actually kind of wish they uh, let me increase the unit, uh, unit selection size from 60 to something higher, but... It's definitely one of the perks of HD Edition is that you can select up to 60 guys. Uh, definitely a little archaic thing in AoE 2. That's for certain. That it uh, only lets you produce up to, uh, like, you can only select up to, like, 40 guys. Let's see. Four. The siege weapons have arrived. This is important, otherwise I'm just throwing guys away to these castles. Uh, but I don't really care that much, because I've actually got support over here, and those are a lot of juicy villagers and resonance hungus for more. Prepare thy anus, I'm coming in. Okay, I think I, I think the villagers walled in. Just gonna delete all these idols. Well, I, I probably don't need this many lumberjacks either, honestly. But, you know, I like to have the most wood collected anyway at the end of the game. Why not? This is what we do. Alright, and this is what I do believe, uh, the scientific term is a slaughter. Alright, GG! So looks like they finally broken in over here, so GG well played. Very good game, definitely. Had a lot of fun with this one. And again, you know, it's important that your, your army isn't, uh, solely countered by, like, one thing. You gotta, you gotta build multiple types of units that cover, uh, cover your weaknesses, that's for certain. So I know a lot of mistake that uh, players tend to make a lot is they just uh, they just build the same unit. Uh, I 
I mean, it's really tempting, especially when you're playing someone like the Britons, you know, like, all I need is longbowmen. And no, because then you get uh, walled by buildings, and, uh, you know, onagers can... Well, I guess you can take your onagers from a distance. But, you know, like, heavy cavalry and stuff, those girls are just going to eat you for breakfast. Why don't you supplement it with some champions, a little bit of the uh, trebuchet action, some halberdiers in case the horses come in, man, like... That's what you gotta do. And again, you know, your eco's gotta be strong, man. It's gotta... Your eco must lift. It must hoist. You want, like, ideally, like, half the max population of the game should be bills, honestly. Uh, but really, it's whatever it takes so that constantly producing troops doesn't run you out of money. Like, look at all the... Look at all the guys I'm running right now. I'm just constantly streaming guys uh, into this guy's base, and I still have I still have some money. I'm still floating something, which is exactly what I want. I don't want to be floating as much wood as I'm floating, but I want to be floating something. The Hurricane Manx actually resigned. He's definitely, he definitely put up a really good fight. He's a really good player, that's for sure. Uh, teams just weren't uh, weren't super fair. He had a lot of a lot in his plate. Yes, strong eco over here. Unfortunately, we will be terminated. Definitely do not need all these lumberjacks. I can probably delete like three, make room for some trade cards and more dudes. And might as well just research every technology under the sun. He, he did resign. Well, that was just stand back. All right, he's got two left, two to go, one to go. I hope you guys found this video both entertaining and informative. The camera to rush thing worked pretty well. I think it does work reasonably well uh, in the Forgotten. Uh, but again, you have to be kind of careful with your micro. I did throw away some guys for free this game. Uh, of course, it's always easier to, you know, be like in retrospect and do that easy backseat gaming mobile jumbo and be like, oh, we should have done this or this. And, you know, it's always easy to say that in retrospect. And of course, I, I didn't play this match perfectly, but I can definitely say that if you, if you do micro your uh, camera archers well and you keep them alive. It can definitely work, honestly. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you don't have any specific bonuses for your cavalry archers, it might not be a super strong strategy. Because, uh, you know, they're not, not necessarily extremely cost-efficient, but if you have bonuses for them, you know, I wouldn't do it necessarily on the Persians, because, you know, they're missing Bracer, but uh, on, uh, on civilizations that get all the upgrades and maybe a, a little bit of a bonus, and that's good. Okay, I, okay, so this guy is just not quitting because he has his stable. Right, so that should be it, right? That is it! Okay! Well played! GG, well played! Alright, cool, let's go check out the achievements. Oh yeah, you did still have some guys over there. To the achievements mobile! Da -da 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 -da. Buildings raised, 88. My goodness. Pretty nice large army. Yep, most wood collected. I definitely collected more than I needed, but yeah. I mean, you look at the you know the comparison to some of the players with the, some of their weaker ecos. Man, you need a you need more vills. You need to get there quicker, I guess. I mean, easier said than done, of course. I definitely wish I uh, started my trade line earlier, but I knew the game wouldn't last very long. Definitely greedy of me, but uh, you know. Ooh, very exceptional castle age time. Bastion are doing work. Really, everybody on my team did well. It was, it was good, good to watch. And yeah, this is this is a strong eco, man. This is what you want. Gaspoda, Gaspoda's got this too. You know, Shinchimax, you know, that's also pretty good. You know, whatever meets your needs. You know, 135 doesn't seem like a lot, uh, but I definitely didn't need any more villagers. I could have tacked on some trade carts, and that was where the missing sort of, sort of 15 pop was uh, from my uh, villager goal, but I didn't need any more villagers. But you're definitely going to need at least a hundred, and you know, like this, this is, you need more vills, you need more vills, you need more vills, you all need more vills. He needed a few more villagers, he's, he's close, but he needs more. Uh, so yeah, if you have less than a hundred villagers, you gotta, you gotta hold thy butt and get those hundred villagers as fast as you can. Uh, getting a, you know, without a strong eco, your military can't be strong either, and without a strong military, you can't win. So, the secret is all in the economy. It's like a, it's like how a good chef needs good ingredients. You can't make a, you can't make a good meal without good ingredients, and the eco is the ingredients. So while the meal, you know, the meal is nothing without the ingredients. So make more villagers, guys. That is the secret. 
Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed playing it. Of course, if you did, make sure to leave a like rating, leave a comment, and check out my uh, the rest of the stuff on my YouTube channel for other awesome, entertaining videos. I do live stream regularly, of course. While this match was not live streamed, I do live stream weekly, so if you follow me on Facebook and you follow me on Twitch, you will know when I'm live streaming in advance. I always do make a little post on YouTube, of course, when I do that. Um, in the future, uh, relatively soon, and probably by the time you watch this, I will be live streaming every Friday at 1.30 p.m. minus 8 GMT, but again, it might vary by the time you watch this if you watch this months after it's uploaded. So um, do make sure to go follow me on Facebook so that you know when I'm live streaming. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time. Oh, yeah, and happy holidays.